The 17 News at Noon podcast is brought to you by Clinica Sierra Vista. Welcome back to the 17 News at Noon podcast, where we share your news on your schedule. As the Omicron COVID-19 variant spreads across the country, vaccine companies are learning more about protection against the virus. What Pfizer officials say about their shot versus the variant coming up. The Kern County Fair is rising up the ranks for top events in the country. We'll tell you where it lands on the list and how you can make miracles happen this holiday season for local families in times of crisis. This is Wednesday, December 8th, 2021. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us for 17 News at Noon. I'm Maddie Jansen alongside Alex Fisher. Today is our annual day of giving and we have a lot to talk about on that front in just a moment. But first, we want to get you caught up on the day's headlines. Yeah, that's right. This morning, encouraging news from Pfizer as we learn the booster shot appears to provide strong protection against the Omicron variant. Company officials said lab study results show a third dose of their vaccine provides a similar level of neutralizing antibodies to Omicron, comparable to two doses against the original coronavirus and other variants. Blood samples from those who received only the primary series of the vaccine, on average, saw a 25-fold drop in antibodies against the new variant. That may indicate that two doses may not be sufficient to protect against infection with Omicron, although they may still prevent severe disease. A federal judge issued a preliminary injunction against President Biden's vaccine mandate nationwide for federal contractors. The mandate was set to take effect on January 4th and applies to roughly a quarter of the U.S. workforce. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki said the Department of Justice would vigorously defend the mandate in court. And out of the coronavirus in Kern County, Kern Public Health reported 313 new cases and 14 new deaths. More than 1,800 people have died of COVID since the pandemic started. State data shows 141 people are in Kern hospitals and 36 are in the ICU. Local kids ages five and up have the chance to get vaccinated today. The Boys and Girls Clubs of Kern County are holding a free vaccine clinic for kids from 4.30 to 7.30 tonight at Armstrong Youth Center on Nile Street. For more information, visit their website. That's bgclubsofkerncounty.org. Hello, this is Tim Callahan with Clinica Sierra Vista, and we're excited to unveil the Community Health Center of the Future, our comprehensive care center. It's located right across the street from Memorial Hospital. We have every service under one roof, from family medicine, OBGYN care, dental services for adults and children, behavioral health, and much more. So find your way to better care at Clinica Sierra Vista this year at our comprehensive care center. Visit our website, clinicasierravista.org, for the latest on this project. We'll see you soon. The Great Kern County Fair is truly one of the greatest in the nation, and now it's not just us residents who believe so. A new poll puts our, our county fair as the 22nd best fair in the country, according to CarnivalWarehouse.com. It jumped 24 spots from the year before. You may remember the fair shut down last year due to the pandemic, but came back this past fall. Fair officials called the jump an amazing accomplishment, although the jump may be because many fairs stayed closed last year or this year due to an increase in COVID cases. Although the flames are out, the cleanup continues for people living in the Kern River Valley, impacted by the French fire. The blaze ripped through the area in August and burned more than 26,000 acres. It left behind ash, burned trees, and other hazardous chemicals. Now state and local officials have created a program called the Debris Removal Program to do just that remove ash, burn trees, and other hazardous materials from the area. Officials will clear, clean, and test the properties for dangers so residents can safely rebuild. If you are looking for help and want to utilize the service, call 862-8740. And today is the day KGET TV 17 joins with Children's Miracle Network for a day of giving to benefit the Lauren Small Children's Center at Bakersfield Memorial Hospital. It's a day when we reach out to you, our loyal viewers, to contribute to the mission of advancing medical care for kids right here in Kern County. And so far they have not disappointed, that's for sure. 17's Tammy Melchok, Jim Scott, they're hosting our day-long fundraiser once again this year. They join us from our studio this afternoon and Jim, Tammy, it has just it really has been inspiring to see so many people uh, give us a call and donate. You know, we're still dealing with some difficult times right now and uh, but mm -hmm. our community still stepping up. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. You know, I, I think we've come to expect it. Our viewers have spoiled us over the 25 years that we have been partners with CMN, no doubt about it. You know, our best year was $140,000. That was in 2019. Mm -hmm. Last year, a COVID year, 
we reached $138,000. Which is incredible. And so we just want to beat that by a dollar. And yeah. I would count this a successful year. And we're getting there. We're not there yet, but we're getting there thanks to people like the hummingbird, Marjorie Nixon. She uh, phoned in a $2,000 pledge. Margie, love you. Um, Harry Spurka, the owner of Ace Hardware up mm -hmm. in Fraser Park and the father of my son's fiance. Ah. He phoned in a $500 pledge and Ace Hardware in Fraser Park has been a longtime supporter mm -hmm. of CMN. Jerry Manda with Current Adult Program, a $5,000 donation wow. again this year. Tom Creer, my buddy Tom Creer, he matched his wife's early donation, her Miracle Maker donation this morning. And so that's another $240 over the course nice. of the year. Tommy, thank you. Randy and Lori Trout, $1,600 donation to CMN. Kenny Harmer, a $500 donation. And our chief engineer, David Baker, a $240 pledge to CMN. Wow. Yeah, keep those donations coming. Um, no amount is too small, though. 336-0500 is the number to call. Or you can text KGET to 51555. Now... Let's check the phone bank. Our friends from the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce of Kern County are with us on the phone bank. And as always, it's good to have our loyal friends from the chamber on board. This is a scaled down phone bank due to COVID-19 considerations, but we also have other operators off site waiting eagerly to take your call. Upstairs, our radio partners are reaching out to their listeners to call in those pledges. And with uh, 1180 Kern Talk Radio again with us this year, there he is, the inimitable Ralph Bailey. So good to have him with us. Spanish radio partners with La Caliente, 96.9 FM of Cascabel and La China. Very grateful to our radio partners for their support of Children's Miracle Network. They were huge last year. They were, and they've been at it this morning as well. You know, the COVID pandemic, as we all know, hit Kern County very hard, and it seemed like children weren't that seriously impacted by the virus at first. However, it almost took the life of a healthy 11-year-old girl from Tehachapi. Fortunately, she sought treatment at Memorial Hospital, which had the equipment to save her life. Morgan Mumby loves to play with her two sisters, but a year ago, this energetic fifth grader was lying in a hospital bed fighting for her life. I mean, like, I was just sick. It was just like a cold at first, then I got over the cold, and then I got, like, a, basically, like, a, just hit me really hard. Morgan, her mom, dad, and sisters all came down with COVID-19 in November of 2020 and seemed to recover quickly. But a few weeks later, Morgan got sick again. She laid on the couch for three days and her symptoms were getting worse. Her eyes were turning yellow. She was developing rashes. Blood work revealed Morgan was septic, a life-threatening condition caused by infection. She was rushed to Bakersfield Memorial Hospital's pediatric ER. They did a 2D echo in her heart and it was showing that her heart was functioning 40% only when her age should be functioning from 70% and up. Morgan was diagnosed with Miss C. It's a um, complication of coronavirus uh, 19. It's a multi-inflammatory system that is causing inflammation to uh, not just the lungs, but also other visceral organs like the kidneys, the brain, and the heart. In short, Morgan, then a healthy 10-year-old, was experiencing heart failure. Doctors and nurses at Lawrence Small Children's Center scrambled to save her life. She was on oxygen. Um, she, she was an epinephrine drip, and that's really a, a strong medication for a child to be given and we had to use the infusion pump for her to get that epinephrine drip and it is uh, very essential in uh, giving medications to children especially because uh, you only give a certain amount a certain rate a specific for the weight of the patient. Morgan and her mom spent 10 days in isolation in the pediatric intensive care unit, where at times it was touch and go. But thanks to equipment purchased through CMN and the dedicated staff here, Morgan pulled through and went home in time for Christmas. Uh, without the machines that, that Children's Miracle Network had provided for us, then we could have not uh, delivered the uh, medications that Morgan needed to to get over the 
COVID complication. I was so excited. I was just like, wow, we get to leave. We just encourage everyone to donate. We're so honored to be a part of the Children's Miracle Network now. Now that we're familiar with it and we've experienced it, we know how important it is to help other kids that are there right now, sitting in those rooms that we sat in, um, knowing what it's like to need that care and that help and just being able to have it. Wow. And there you go. There's an example. You just never know when you're going to need that care. But the good news is it's here. It is the one day of the year where we uh, ask you to donate to the Children's Miracle Network, benefiting the Lawrence Mall Children's Center. And the money has just been coming in all day long. That's right. And we are pleased to have with us now Jay Tamsey. He is CEO and president of the Kern County Hispanic Chamber of Commerce with a couple of donations of your own. Yes, Jim, um, this is our seventh year, so we would like to donate on behalf of the Kern County Hispanic Chamber a $1,000 uh, to the Children's oh, Miracle awesome. Network and also $200 from the Tamsey family, and awesome. there's more to come. Okay, we and want to drop this and make sure it doesn't bounce back up. <laughs> <Why? Right. laughs> Uh, cash it now, cash it now. No, um, we're grateful, we'll, we'll take it. <laughs> so cash it now, but this means a lot to us, Jim. Um, you know, pediatric services and pediatric care at Memorial Hospital just means so much to us. And we're just very um, thankful that we can help out is the it, NICU Center. Isn't it amazing what we have today in the Lawrence Mall Children's Center? It's a hospital within a hospital. Mm -hmm. And you've been part of that all these years. All these years. And it's just wonderful to even sit on the board um, and to make sure that we make these miracles happen for these children. Well, we appreciate your generosity yeah. year after year. And we Thank appreciate you. All, right. all of your generosity out there as well. Still plenty of time. 336-0500. Much more CMN to come tonight at 5. The 17 News at Noon podcast is a production of KGET and Nexstar Media Group. For more on all of the headlines in today's show, head to KGET.com.